Hi Taurus and welcome to your How Does Your Love Interest Feel About You reading. This is the Dream Medium. Welcome to my channel. So this reading is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, or Venus. It doesn't matter what the sign of your love interest is. Um, as long as you are a Taurus, Sun, Moon, or Venus, this reading may resonate for you, all right? So before we get started, please remember that this is a general reading. So only take what resonates and leave what does not. How does Taurus love interest feel about them? How does Taurus love interest feel about them? How does Taurus love interest feel about them? Five of Cups. Three of Wands, lots of regrets. My goodness, you even have the Fool that's here. Lots of regrets, lots of I, uh, I should have, I could have, what ifs. This person is still stuck in the past with you. In Clarity of the Five of Cups, Queen of Cups came out, Nine of Cups came out. Clarify the Three of Wands. You have the Five of Wands. Clarifying the Three of Wands, you have the King of Swords. They're still in love with you. Clarifying the Fool, you have the World. And you have the Star card, all right? So with the Five of Cups here, someone here is crying over spilled milk when it comes to you, Taurus. With the Five of Cups, your person is really upset that things didn't work out in the past. I do feel like they're putting a lot of blame on themselves. They're looking back at the situation and they're thinking that they could have done things differently to avoid, you know, I'm hearing a catastrophe. So perhaps the breakup or separation, things ended pretty badly. And they're thinking that that could have been avoided if they would have done things differently. Okay, so they're really still stuck on you. This person, your love interest has other offers, okay? They have other, they're very, I feel like other people are also interested in your, your person, Taurus, but they're not even paying attention to the other offers that they have because they're still so stuck on you. In Clarity of the Five of Cups, you have the Queen of Cups. So with the Queen of Cups here, they feel like you are the only person that can fulfill them, all right? This person does have options, but they're not interested in their options. They, they still have their eyes on you being the Queen of Cups. The only offer that they want is the offer that is from you and no one else because they feel like your offer, your love, is the only thing that can fulfill them. Wow. Wow. So you have the Nine of Cups here. Um, I feel like with the, oh yeah, the Nine of Cups is pretty much confirming what I said about them having options, okay? They do have a lot of suitors, but it's only you that they're stuck on, all right? Um, next you have the Three of Wands being clarified by the Five of Wands, let's see. So the Three of Wands here, they are heavily missing you, all right? I feel like you're constantly on this person's mind. So much to the point where I see this person being very moody because you're not in their life. Um, I definitely see them retrieving from other people, hence why the Five of Wands is clarifying the Three of Wands because they're a, your person is making a lot of people upset, okay? Especially a lot of their suitors are angry that your person is rejecting them and that your person is not giving his or hers attention to them anymore. Okay, so it's causing a lot of their suitors or love offers here, a lot of the people who are interested in them to be very upset. Like, I see your person cutting them off. I see your person cutting off other offers. Um, so yeah, there's like people fighting over them. Your person might, must be just like a really attractive person. Um, then you have the King of Swords. All right, Taurus. So with the King of Swords here, I do feel like this person still has love for you. Definitely. I actually feel like they're in love with you, but they're not going to say it. It's almost like they're waiting for you to come towards them. All right. 
um, but they have their mind made up, all right? They feel like they know everything that they need to know about you in this situation. They're just waiting for you to initiate something that will make them feel welcomed back into your life. Then you have the fool being clarified by the world. So the fool here is a risk taker, all right? Um, this is someone who's, who's making a risky decision to come towards you. And um, I feel like they will because they're tired of waiting. This person is becoming very impatient. In Clarity of the Fool, you do have the world here. So they are refusing to move forward. Like they're refusing to start a new beginning elsewhere or with anybody else because they feel like you and them still have unfinished business. All right. So they're intentionally choosing to work on a past connection, hence the connection with you. Then you have the star here. So they're wishing and hoping and praying and manifesting, whatever you want to call it. But this person is asking the universe to bring you back into their life. All right. Um, so that is how they're feeling about you, Taurus. If you're interested in this person, my advice is to initiate something. I'm not saying you should go to them with, you know, a three page love letter, but make them feel welcomed back into your life. Okay. Like if there was an intention, make them feel like you've let it go. Okay. Um, and make them feel comfortable to come back towards you or you can go towards them. It doesn't matter. Okay. Um, but yeah, Taurus, this is how they're feeling about you. I really hope this reading helps. Please remember it's a general reading, but you can always book a private reading with me on my website. Um, the link to my website is in the description box. All right. Thank you guys so much. Please be safe out there and you have a great day.